Hi, everybody. This is Dr. Johnny. So I wrote this blog post called Why Cholesterol Matters. And I know a lot of people might think that's a really weird title because after all, I've been calling BS on the cholesterol establishment for a very, very long time. Um, in fact, two years ago, cardiologist Stephen Sinatra and I wrote a book called The Great Cholesterol Myth. And although we've been widely misquoted about that book, our basic position in that book was cholesterol is a lousy predictor of heart disease. Half the people who are admitted to hospitals for cardiovascular disease in America have very normal cholesterol. Many people with elevated cholesterol have very normal, healthy hearts. Cholesterol doesn't clog the arteries. It most definitely does not cause heart disease. Um, saturated fat is mostly neutral, mostly harmless, and as several big research studies published in major journals just in the last couple of years have confirmed saturated fat does not, repeat, does not promote or cause heart disease as was previously reported. We've been misled. So we also think that cholesterol is vital for memory and for thinking and for your sex drive and for your vitamin D production and running after cholesterol numbers in an effort to prevent heart disease is not a good use of our health capital, if you will. It, it, cholesterol is the wrong target. You know, as I said on the Dr. Oz show, trying to prevent heart disease by lowering cholesterol is like trying to lower your calories by taking the lettuce off your Big Mac. I mean, it's the wrong target. So why would I write an article that says cholesterol matters? Well, I'll tell you why. It matters not so much as a blood test, but as a cultural mem. You go to a restaurant, look at the heart healthy breakfast, the fitness menu. What are you going to see? You're going to see egg white omelets, possibly the stupidest nutritional experiment in history, the dumbest idea I can imagine. Why would you throw out the yolk? Why? The yolk is the source of uh, lutein and zeaxanthin, two absolutely incredible nutrients for the eye. It's the source of choline, which is brain food and which also helps, paradoxically, prevent cholesterol from becoming oxidized, which is the only time cholesterol becomes a problem in the first place. So why, and, and it's got protein. Why would you throw the egg yolk out? I'll tell you why. Because you're afraid of cholesterol, because people have been told, oh, egg yolks have cholesterol. So we have these idiotic, unsatisfying egg white omelets. Uh, and that's everywhere. It's in every hotel. It's in every fitness menu. So that speaks to the cultural mem, the touchstone of this notion that cholesterol is a bad thing, that saturated fat clogs the arteries, causes heart disease. And that has created a set of dietary guidelines that has made us fat, sick, tired, and depressed for the last 40 years. So relying, as I wrote on the blog, relying on cholesterol numbers screws everybody over. I've got friends, tennis pros, who are in great shape and have never had any kind of risk factor for heart disease, and they can't get life insurance unless they get their cholesterol down. So they've got to go on some cockamamie, unhealthy, low-fat diet in order to satisfy the insurance companies who are just as plugged into this cultural mem as the rest of the population. And when we rely exclusively on cholesterol numbers, the way many, many doctors do, not only are we ripped off from being treated like a patient, but we're being treated like a lab test rather than, we're looking at lab tests rather than diseases. We're treating symptoms, not causes. We're treating numbers, not people. So cholesterol matters because a lot of people believe a lot of caca about cholesterol and saturated fat. And that means we have a lot of work to do to get the message out that we've been very mistaken about saturated fat and cholesterol and that now it's time to take some real steps to get healthy, lose weight, protect our heart and our brain, and stay active for decades and decades and decades. And it has nothing to do with lowering cholesterol.